Good morning, and this Wednesday morning, welcome to our daily prayers together. As we begin to try to pray, um, can I encourage you to recognise God's presence with you? You may not feel very holy. The circumstances of your life may not feel holy, in fact, may feel very worrisome or flat or irritating or frustrating. I don't know what the word is. But whatever your life situation right at the moment, however you find yourself this morning and all that faces you, God is present. So a pause as we recognise that now. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our reading today is Ruth, uh, chapter 1, verse 3 onwards. And here we've got um, Naomi, who's um, Jewish, who's moved from Bethlehem to this foreign country of Moab. Now Elimelech, Naomi's husband, died, and she was left with her two sons. They married Moabite women, one named Orpah and the other Ruth. After they'd lived there about ten years, both Marlon and Kilian also died, and Naomi was left without her two sons and her husband. What we have here is a picture of, for this woman, total economic catastrophe. There were no social services in those days. The way people got supported was in family groups. The breadwinner was typically the man, and if for Naomi, if once her husband dies, she'll look to the rest of her family, her children, to look after her. But the breadwinners in that wider family, the two men her daughters have married, both die as well. So she is left with nothing. Um, two women who are unlikely by themselves to earn much, she is in real trouble. Now, the story is going to unfold and it's in the Bible because God is present and is at work. But obviously the situation seems very bleak here and I almost want to hold the reading there because to encourage you that even in that situation God was able to be at work. And in your situation, whatever you're facing, whatever problems, issues, unexpected crises, deeply, deeply worrying things, somehow, somewhere, God is present and is at work. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for the encouragement of this story and how you were able to achieve your purposes, even through economic catastrophe. Give me eyes to see your presence, even in my life, perhaps especially if things are difficult, that your quiet presence can help me and guide me. Space for our prayers now. And so as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, 
now and forever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen.